Hey Star Wars collectors and action figure fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Brand new Electro Staff Purge Trooper from the Gaming Greats line. This was literally announced not even two weeks ago. Um, it's initial reveal. Um, I can't remember what date it was, but it feels like it was less than two weeks ago. It might just be on two weeks. And uh, Australia is very lucky through Zing Pop Culture to have these in hand already. So. Um, I'm very excited to have a couple of these. Um, I was really, really loving the Purge Trooper Commander that came out first. Um, it's not the first time that this has happened where we've got a figure really soon after uh, it's been revealed or announced. Um, same thing happened with the Jedi Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker that came out last year, I think, around Force Friday. Um, that was the Walmart exclusive in the US. Um, so this one should be out in uh, Game Stops in the US very soon, as well as EB Games in Canada. Um, and I'm sure Star Action Figures in the UK will get a hold of these puppies as well. So let's open them up and have a closer look. All right, here are the Purge Troopers with Electro Staff in all their glory. Got both of them out, obviously. Um, and the thing I noticed straight out of the pack is these pink elements that sort of wrap around the uh, ends of the staff. They're actually quite loose. Um, they're very much a Marvel Legends sort of element that you might get with some mystical figures that have those mystical powers and it wraps around their arms a little bit. Um, and in, in such, it's probably the, the staff itself is a little bit thin um, for these particular pieces. So I will quickly run through what I actually have done uh, before we discuss the figure at length. Um, is that there are some actually some connected bits here um, and what I did is <laughs> it's okay he can go to the side I only need one for the video so because there are sort of connected bits what I did is I ran them under some you know some hot tap water um, and just to make the plastic a little bit, bit more malleable and I sort of ran the stuff through a couple of the sort of open pockets um, so to speak, um, where there are sort of like full circle attached. And I just sort of threaded them through and just sort of, just sort of played around with it, tried to get it in a good spot where it looked right. And um, I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. Actually looks quite good. Um, so as you can see, it's sort of, it's a little bit askew, but um, you know, you can sort of twist it around. I might play with this one a little bit more. Um, you know, you can easily just run this under a bit more hot water and just sort of mess around with it and then run it under some cold and it will um, hold its shape a whole lot better. <clears throat> Excuse me, but for the most part, this figure is a straight repack slash repaint of the Purge Trooper that came out. I want to say, might have even been earlier this year. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, could have been late last year. Obviously this time he has the black pauldron instead of the red and the uh, black lines on the side of the Karma there instead of red as well. Uh, but for the rest of the figure, it's exactly the same. Imperial logo on each shoulder bell. Uh, these sort of white, white arrows on the leg and arms. Little red detail there on his uh, comlink. Does retain the same um, Clone Wars, uh, Clone Trooper sculpt as uh, previous one. Same helmet, same articulation, just a really good figure. So yeah, very quick review here guys, so um, my battery's about to die. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, I really just wanted to point out the thing with the staff and give you guys a bit of a good look at the figure itself. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, may the force be with you.